And tomorrow is not a total washout, but an accurate weather alert. We're going to carry it into the day tomorrow because of scattered showers and thunder showers that beef up again late morning into the mid afternoon. A couple of them could be strong, and of course we have the downpours that we're dealing with during the overnight. We will sound the all clear sign as we go through tomorrow night, and it gets drier and comfortable. And then we're loving Sunday with low humidity and comfortable temperatures. And if you want a little bit more heat, you wait till Memorial Day, probably the best beach day. Ceiling's been lowering a little bit. It was down to about 1,500 feet. We're at 66 degrees right now with a south wind at 10. It's a muggy night right now, and the visibilities have lowered in spots along the coast. There will be some areas of fog tomorrow morning. This planner really paints it out really well. You've got the downpours coming up in the next few hours, a break probably till late morning, then scattered showers and thunderstorms start to pop up again, probably last until about mid-afternoon, and then think your evening plans are pretty good. All the storms should be gone by sunset, if not earlier. You can see the showers now lifting through Monmouth and Ocean again, some downpours, the heaviest right now near Philly. That's going to lift into parts of western New Jersey, so we'll be pouring in the city within the next hour or two. Look at a tornado report in Virginia. So this whole spin here in the upper atmosphere still has to roll its way through. We'll finally push it offshore by later tomorrow and tomorrow night. In the meantime, though, here come the storms over the next couple of hours. Some downpours, maybe some flash flooding. That'll lift north, probably push offshore. It's kind of mostly cloudy, a little drizzle, some fog at 7 in the morning, muggy. But then just like today, skies will try to brighten up a little bit. And with that disturbance coming through, here come the storms flaring up. Better chance off to the north and west. Again, some brief downpours. Maybe even a little small hail with these as well. Some gusty winds. I think the beaches probably just escape with getting brushed by a passing shower. Be self to be careful, even a shower diving toward eastern Long Island as we go through late in the day. Then we finally dry out tomorrow night. Sunday morning, comfortably cool during the afternoon. Temperatures are in the upper 70s. We get a fair amount of sunshine. I still think Monday's the best bet, but maybe you think Sunday's a little bit more comfortable. Both days are great. It's just Saturday. We're dealing with some spotty storms. At the beaches, just tomorrow isn't the best beach day. Jones Beach, about 70. Same thing in West Hampton. Point Pleasant about 76, Long Beach Island about 74. A shower at the Jersey Shore, but there could be a couple thunderstorms that even get uh, to Long Island beaches. Catskills, a, a shower storm tomorrow, then great the rest of the weekend. It'll be in the 80s by Monday. So will the Jersey Shore, while the Hamptons will be in the 70s most of the weekend. Mainly clear, still humid, excuse me, mainly cloudy, still humid. Some scattered showers around, a little fog at 7 a.m., 65. And then here come the spotty showers and storms that develop by late morning and head into the mid-afternoon. So that, you know, might have to head inside 15, 20 minutes. Then tomorrow night, we turn mostly clear and comfortable 50s in the suburbs. So we're going to carry the alert tomorrow for the spotty storms. Sunday looks great. Monday a little hotter at 92 on Tuesday and then we'll start to cool things down. Half the area will be in the uh, low 70s on Wednesday. Half the area could be in the mid 80s. Big range that day before storms arrive later Thursday. That's the way it's shaping up. You have a great holiday weekend. Brittany Bell and Jeff Smith will take it from here. Guys, back to you.